What's happening, Tech Timers? This is Andre of Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews, where I review cool tech and everyday products that will make your lives just a little bit easier. And today, I'm coming to you live with no jive as I show you how to connect not only one, but two computers to one monitor, one keyboard, and one mouse using the MT two port KVM switch. It's gonna be a blast. Can you dig it? All right, Tech Timer, so before we get down to the nitty gritty, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell all below. And please share if you care. This is the MT Vicky, I know I said MT, it's the MT Vicky two port KVM switch, which allows you to connect two computers to one monitor, one keyboard, and one mouse. Now, that was the box. I've actually had this sitting around for a few months. And this is the very first time I'm gonna open it. So let's take a look. Okay. Instruction manual. There's the unit itself. We'll take a closer look. There are the cables. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get up close and personal with this. USB, USB, VGA, USB, VGA, VGA. There's your push button, and those look to be lights. So PC1, PC2, USB1, VGA out, USB two USB three. Okay, not bad. Here are the cables. Let me go ahead and open this. Get these out of the bag. And there are the cables. There's your VGA. And there's the USB. Okay, so now that we've seen what we can see, y'all know what's next, the specs. Okay, Tech Timers, so here are the specs for the MT Vicky 2 port KVM switch. The type is VGA, that's what I needed for my purposes. It's also available in HDMI. The operation mode is on on, switch type is push button. The dimensions are 3.55 inches by 1.97 inches. It's made out of plastic. Included are two four foot long USB VGA KVM cables. It supports Windows, Mac, Linux, Unix, Chrome OS, etc. Now, let's get down to the get down. You dig? Okay, Tech Timers, so this is my Dell Optiplex 980. It's a very old computer. It only has VGA, which is why I got the VGA model of the switch. But keep in mind that you can get the HDMI model. This is my mouse. It's probably just as old as that computer. It's a really old mouse. And there's the keyboard. And there's the monitor. Now I've got three monitors on my desk. Two belong to my Mac Mini. I could probably fit four, but I would really have to push them out. But anyway, that Dell is a backup computer. So right now it's running Chrome OS. So there's the mouse. If I you know start fooling around with the mouse, you'll see that you know I'm I'm working the computer right now with the mouse. Let's go into settings. You know, probably can't see all of that. Maybe too far away. Sorry for the glare. But if I open, for instance, the browser, there's the uh, there's my my uh, YouTube channel, and so that's great, you know. But if I want to use this computer right here, 
which is my Teresa mini, uh, mini PC. Then I have to disconnect from there and connect here. And I'm gonna show you what that computer is running in just a second. Okay, tech timers. So now I have my mini PC turned on. You can see there's the power light. This is the connection for the keyboard. That's the wireless mouse right there. And there is the VGA right, whoops, right there coming directly from the monitor. So this is Ubuntu Studio. You know, you can see, you know, so I'm working it with the mouse. So there's a reason why I want to show y'all, you know, why, which operating systems I have. So there's that. Um, let's click on restore. So you can see, you know, there's that. Anyway, so as you can see, both computers actually have different, um, you know, purposes for me anyway. I, I'm a computer guy. If you're like me and you have, you know, more than one computer and you use one computer for one thing and use a computer for another thing, but, you know, you have just one monitor and one mouse and one keyboard, you can see that this is a pain in the butt. I mean, I've got other keyboards, but this is kind of a pain in the butt. I'm not going to put you know, more monitors, more keyboards on my desk. I have, I have two keyboards here, you know, um, you know, like I said, the other ones for the Mac mini, but what I'm saying is, you know, it's a pain in the butt having to constantly move from computer to computer, you know, move the connections. So this is how we're going to fix that. This is going to be computer one. This is the mini PCs, computer one, the Dell is going to be computer two. Let me, uh, put this gimbal, down and I'm going to show you how we're going to connect. Okay, tech timer. So we're going to start with PC one, the mini PC. Here's the cable. The end that has the USB. This goes to the computer, the VGA port on the computer, and this goes to the USB. The USB gives it power. So there's my VGA port right there. Let me go ahead and connect it, get it in there nice and tight. Make sure it's out of sight. And there's a USB right there. Let's go ahead. That gives it power. This end of the cable, as you can see, this is coming from the computer. I'm going to connect this to the KVM switch, PC1. Let's go ahead and get that together. Okay, so now it's connected. This, as you can see, is directly from the monitor. So there you go, VGA out. Put that in. And like I said, um, the reason why I have the VGA type is because of the Dell. The Dell only has VGA. Um, but I, I could have gotten an HDMI card if I wanted to because this computer does have two HDMI ports. So there's the mouse. Like I said, it's really an old mouse, but you know what? It still works. So I'm going to connect that there. And here's the keyboard. Let's connect that right there. Okay. So now it is, it is all connected. I just need to do the exact same thing for the Dell. So let me go knock that bad boy out. Okay, tech timer. So I know it looks like a big mess, but this is the best way for me to show y'all. Okay, remember Dell is PC2, VGA. There's the uh, USB going to power. PC2 is right here. And remember, right now it's on PC1, which is the mini PC I've got. Uh, my Ethernet cable is going to each computer, so let's test it out. Here's the mouse, you know, let's go back to the screen here. Move that up just a little bit. And so here's the screen. Using the mouse now, let's launch uh, Firefox. And Firefox comes up using the mouse, no problem. Let's go to 
Uh, let's go to Office, which is actually actually LibreOffice. I don't use Microsoft Office. Um, I'm not big on Microsoft or their products. That's just me. I've been using this uh, forever and ever and ever, even before it was called LibreOffice. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and let's increase the font size so y'all can see. Now, there's the keyboard. Let's do some typing. As you can see, there you go. Keyboard is working just fine. So we got the monitor, mouse, and keyboard working just fine on PC1. Now let's check out PC2, which is the Dell. So what I'm gonna do, there's a switch, there's the red light on PC1. This is PC2, this is coming from the Dell. This is the keyboard, and I put the mouse over here. Okay, so I'm gonna press the button in the middle. Let's see what happens. Red light there, Chrome OS, that's the Dell. So remember, we did this a little bit earlier, just did this, you can see it's Chrome OS. There you go, Chrome OS. And what I'm gonna do, I haven't installed any apps on this yet, on, on this particular computer. So what I'm gonna do is go to Google Docs, um, let's go here and let's get rid of that. And let me just make it, it looks like the uh, resolution changed. I'm probably going to adjust it, um, you know, after connecting the switch. But right now let's just type and there I am just typing away. So the keyboard, there you go. Mouse and monitor working just fine with the uh, MT Vicky two port USB KVM switch. So this is great for someone who has like me. Okay, this is a newer computer. That's an older computer. That older computer still has a lot of life in it, the Dell. So I don't want to get rid of it. You know, um, I test operating systems out on it. I actually test operating systems out on both. But it's it, this is good, you know, if you want to be able to switch back and forth, maybe you have a computer, maybe you got a new computer, but you have an older one that you don't want to get rid of, or maybe you have two, you know, two new computers and use one as a server, one for, you know, just general computer use. And instead of going out and buying, you know, additional keyboards, uh, another mouse, you know, another monitor, this is all you need. Press up the switch. And there you go. You know, actually, let's get rid of this. So you can see, I don't want to save that. As you can see, Ubuntu Studio Linux. And actually, I think I have some uh, updates. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And there's some updates. And well, it's doing its thing. I was going to let it, do, let it do. Okay, there it is. Let's update all. That's not too much. So while it's doing, well, you know, I'll put that in later, but it's asking for my password, but I could be working, you know, downloading or, you know, processing or something on, on computer one, and then I can go back to computer two and do whatever, you know, whatever else I feel like doing on this computer, because personally me, um, I don't use my computers. I don't use a computer, for, like one computer for everything. I don't know how many computers I'm using at the moment, uh, like seven laptops and okay, these three desktops, so about 10, maybe more. I'm, pro I'm sure I'm, you know, that I'm leaving something out. But you know, for somebody that wants to have a computer for one thing and the other computer for another, this is all you need. You can see, you just switch back and forth. Okay, let's wrap this bad boy up. Okay, Tech Timers, so what did we learn today? We learned that the MT Vicky two port USB uh, uh, KVM switch is a great little product that does what it was designed to do. It solves a problem. If you have more than one desktop and you don't wanna go out and buy another monitor, keyboard and mouse, then this is what you will need 
this will help solve that issue. Now keep in mind, like I said, for me, because of the older computer, the older Dell, I needed VGA, but you can find this brand, many other brands on Amazon that will have HDMI if that's what you need. So very good look at it, you know, very thick, you know, and tough plastic, very sturdy. There you go. Um, I'm impressed with this little switch. You know, it, it does exactly what it was designed to do. Now, keeping that in mind, uh, y'all know what time it is. It's time for Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews Rating System. Now, if I like a product, right on. If I really like it, groovy, man. If I don't like it, right off. And I, if I really don't like it, it's going to be a jive turkey. Well, because the MT Vicky two-part USB uh, KVM switch, it really did solve my problem. Um, I'm gonna give this a groovy, man. I mean, I've got a test monitor and I've got another keyboard. I've got, you know, another mouse. I just don't want all that stuff on my desk. I think what I have on my desk right now is enough. This helps save space and it solves the problem. That Dell is gonna go back under the desk. The mini PC is gonna stay there. On top of the desk, I'm gonna clean up the wires and all is gonna to be totally groovy in the world if you can dig where I'm coming from. So with that, I wanna say thank you for hanging out here with me on Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews. Please keep in mind that in all of my reviews, all of the opinions expressed are my own. I don't get paid to do this. And I spend all of my own, you know, my own money on these products. With that, once again, thanks for hanging out with me. Keep on trucking. I will catch you on the flip side in my next video. Now, can you dig that? <laughs>